In the wall configuration, there are different types of mini tripods. Simple ones such as this one, which lays flat on the surface, and bendy ones such as this Gorilla Pod, which can wrap around different surfaces. Now recently, Uski Vision has sent me two of their tripods to review. Now this one is called the E2, and this one is called the Flex 1, and both of them serve a slightly different purpose. Today, we're going to take a look at both of these very affordable tripods and see whether they are worth it in terms of their usage and how well they perform in the real world and especially how many different circumstances can each one of these be able to be used. If this is your cup of tea, you want to stick around. If not, follow me outdoors and let's put both of these to the test. Hi guys, we are outdoor here at the park and here I have is the Flex 1 and the E2. Now actually I wanted to go to a hiking trail right behind me over here but unfortunately they have construction going on. So we'll just have to make do with this little park over here which is sufficient. But there'll just be some train noises such as this guys going on. So besides that, there'll probably be a lot of circumstances which this one will be quite useful as you can wrap around different objects comparing with just this little mini tripod. If not, follow me and we'll just do a countdown on how many times this or this will be useful. As you guys can see, this little flexible one tripod is actually quite useful as you can use a lot of circumstances which this one can't. Albeit, this one can actually be able to extend and give you this very nice selfie uh, stick mode. But this one, you're able to put in so many different circumstances especially when the terrain is uneven or even on tree branches, which is extremely versatile. Now let's collapse all this and head back to our home studio where we talk a little bit about the nitty gritty details such as the length, the size, the weight and especially the price. Now that we are back, let's take a deeper dive and talk about both of their specifications. Let's start with the E2 tripod. Now this E2 tripod measures about 23 cm or about 9 inches. Once you have it extended, it goes out to about 45 cm or about 17.7 inches, which is basically double of its initial size. Now let's collapse it and let's talk about its material. Once I knock it, you can hear that it sounds a little bit plasticky but not entirely low quality as it does have a very sturdy feel to it. Which brings us to the weight of the item. It weighs about 250 grams or about 8.8 .8 ounce. When I hold my hand and try to wave it, it does not feel lopsided as it's actually quite well balanced. As for the retail package, it actually comes in quite nice in this nice little uh, package. Once you open it, you can see that it comes with this little action camera mount. Alright, let's put the E2 at the side. But before we move on to the Flex 1, if you enjoyed this video, do give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below. This is a small way to appreciate the time taken to be able to put this whole video together. I appreciate it if you can go over to my Patreon channel to be able to support me as little as $3 a month. This will definitely go a huge way to be able to help me to continue to do reviews on this channel. Now let's talk about the Flex 1. Now for the Flex 1, it measures about 28.5 cm or about 11 inches. Its leg is made out of a very nice rubbery material, so once I knock it, you can hear that it does not sound hollow, meaning it's actually filled with very good and high quality material to be able to wrap around different surfaces. As for the weight, it weighs about 270 grams or about 9.5 ounce, which is quite surprising compared with the E2 due to the size differences and they are only 20 grams apart. In terms of their locking mechanism and ball head design, I would say they are rather simple. So let's go with the E2. As you can see the E2 up close, how it locks is that you have this thing to be able to lock it in place. So this is the loose and once we put it over here, it actually locks this whole tripod ball head in place. At the sides, you can see there's actually this uh, quarter inch screw adapter 1 and 2 over here. And for the E2, you can see there's this additional uh, cold shoe mount, which this uh, Flex 1 does not have as the legs itself does not have allow it to be able to place any cold shoe mounts on it, which is definitely understandable. I almost forgot to mention that they both have the same ball head base that can be easily converted to become a mobile phone mount. So how much does both of these cost? Now both of these cost about 23 USD which is much cheaper than other brands that are out there. So would I recommend either of these? 
I think both of them come in at a very competitive price. But for the Flex one, I would say comparing with the one that I already have, which is the Yulan Z MT11, the Yulan Z MT11 does have an edge over this Flex one. The Yulan Z11 does have this uh, mobile phone mount over here, this bubbler leveler. And you have this quick screw to be able to screw in your camera and ultimately you can actually remove the, the ball head to be able to replace it with other ball heads that you have. Even though it has a price gap of about $7 compared with the Flex one, I will still stick with my MT11 as it has these four different functions which will be able to stand out against the Flex one. Now as for the E2, the E2 comparing with this closest rival, the MT16, I would say the E2 does perform better. The price gap between both of these is only $2 and this one does feel a little bit lopsided due to the very light weight that it has compared with this E2. Now albeit the head over here does have a quick screw for this uh, MT16 but besides that I think overall this E2 does perform better in terms of its weight and its overall design. So in these two I would say the winner would be the E2. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I also like to thank Uski Vision for sending me both of their tripods to review. As you can see, they put in a lot of effort even in their packaging, which I really appreciate. If not, I'll see you guys in the next video.